Good evening, you fuckers. Hi. The other problem with sex in a long-term relationship is that uh, your mind starts to wander, if I'm honest. And I start thinking about what would be funny during sex. So uh, what I really want to do is at that, po that moment when he's approaching climax and he starts shouting out my name, uh, instead of shouting out his name, <laughs> I just want to join in and shout my own. <laughs> So he'd be like, oh, Gemma, Gemma, and I'd be like, oh, Gemma, Gemma. There's a man who holds the world record for the farthest ejaculation at 18 feet. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, if you want to look him up, because I did. His name, his name is Horst Schultz. He also holds the world record for the greatest height of ejaculation at 12 feet 4 inches. And the greatest speed of ejaculation, or muzzle velocity, as they like to call it. In the <laughs> <laughs> 42.7 miles per hour. But then I thought, hey, we can all do that. We just need to be on the back of a National Express coach. Casual sex days are over for me. Sorry, Jesse, uh, I'm married. And uh, I'm learning to accommodate some of his needs. He likes the missionary position, which is okay, but do I want to look at that face? The face of my loved one, the one, brow dripping with sweat furrowed in concentration, much like a dog that's trying to scratch an itch. Do I want to look at that face that is his sex face? With me wondering if he's about to come or if he's just having another asthma attack. <laughs> They're very needy asthmatics. Have you noticed? If you hide their inhaler, they'll do anything. In the early days, sex lasted for four hours. Honest to God, no idea what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably doing a sandwich. Uh, I, uh, I really thought I'd met a tantric guru, but no. That was just his wooing phase. We've all been there, ladies, right? They do this for you, they do that for you. They roll out the sexual gymnastics for you. Twirling ribbon. Balance beam. <laughs> Put on a leotard. And then... Fuck all. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, says, uh, he says that I'm getting old before my time, that I used to get really excited by a ball gag. He did say I should explain what that is if people don't know. If you don't know, just look it up, but get one with holes in it. Yeah, he's quite particular, my husband. I'm not allowed to sit naked when he's eating breakfast in case he gets aroused. So that means we can't go to McDonald's anymore. <laughs> to be fair, he wasn't the only one complaining that morning. In my early days, I spent all my money on waxing and condoms. Way too much money on waxing. Uh, and now I'm older, I spend all my money on tissues and dry cleaning. Uh, the tissues, if you, if you don't understand, are for the inevitable crying that comes with marriage and motherhood. And uh, the dry cleaning, because he doesn't like wearing condoms and thus ejaculates randomly. She's quite traditional, uh, my, uh, my mother. Uh, she thinks that children should be children, they shouldn't grow up too soon. So that in effect meant that at uh, age 13, when other girls are wearing jeans and Doc Martens and learning how to give their first blowjob, she, uh, she was dressing me in these flowery dresses with puff sleeves and curling my hair to such an extent that you could not see my face, let alone get a penis anywhere near it. We've got one of those uh, rings, you wear it on your little finger and it uses acupressure to, uh, to stop you snoring. And it works. Uh, well, that's that's what he thinks. <laughs> What's actually happening is every time he starts snoring, I just sit on his face. <laughs> the vibrations are pretty arousing. <laughs> Till he wakes up unable to breathe. And he starts kicking and bucking. And I find that more arousing. <laughs> uh, that's actually how we discovered our safe word. Get off. <laughs> I also stopped going to church with him when I was 15 and she said to me, darling, when you turn away from God, you'll realise that you've got a huge hole that needs filling. <laughs>